This is Freddie Mercury singing. Not a soprano or an operatic countertenor, even if he sounds perfectly like one. This is Freddie Mercury. But somehow this is also Freddie Mercury singing. The Chesterado place, his road in life was clearly drawn. He didn't hesitate. He played, they saw, he... How can those two be the same person? I don't know, but now I understand why every time I include Freddie Mercury in one of my community polls, <sighs> he wins every single time by so much difference. <laughs> and we're just getting started with his versatility. I mean, hell, Freddie Mercury could sing even two notes at the same time, like on Somebody to Love, with his subharmonic technique. His distortion or rasp comes from the same subharmonic technique we can use for extremely low singing in the first octave of the piano. When the distortion is harsh enough, it overpowers the note being sung, called the fundamental, and this spectral pitch display from Adobe Audition perceives the new lower note as the fundamental. Freddie's basically singing two notes equally powerful at the same time, so the software can't even tell which one is the note. <laughs> and his soprano-like falsetto isn't just one of the most beautiful of all time, it's also one of the most skillful of all time. Like this vocal from The Kiss. Or the even more famous and even more difficult one from Under Pressure. La, 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 la. Which are both notes in the female register, absolutely, and the breath support and control needed to pull them off is insane, especially the under pressure one. It's just absolutely insane. I, I think I should call this channel Insane Singing, maybe, when we get to 100k. Oh, wait, let me look up some synonyms for insane. Unhinged. Unhinged singing could work, I mean has certain something to it. <laughs> and talking of unhinged singing, Freddie Mercury could also sing metal, and he actually hated singing this song, and you could pretty much assume it's because it's so ridiculously impossible to sing. I am the one, the only one! I am the god of kingdom come! It is so high in the story that I have no idea how he did it without coughing up blood. Give it a prize! Just give it a prize! But he could also sing the same pitch, but with a different technique, in mixed voice, and it sounds so beautiful in the song Don't Try So Hard. Oh, don't try so hard. And if you're tired of trying too hard to sing <laughs> high notes, sorry. I'm actually helping singers find their mixed voice in like a day, and it actually works. You just have to go to unhingedsinging.com, I'm sorry. Sorry, crazysinging.com. And you can forget about voice cracks for good and just sing any song you'd like incredibly powerfully. And talking of mixed voice, Freddie's best moment using mixed voice, and the most extreme one as well, comes in the song All God's People with an F5 note, which obviously belongs in the M2 laryngeal mechanism, but sounds so incredibly beautiful when sung in this way by Freddie Mercury. Around the Finally, we have the first two spots from this list, and you might be thinking, like, what else? What else could he possibly sing, right? Well, he also sang in Japanese and Spanish, but talking about his vocal skill, we have one of the most beautiful vocal lines of all time in the intro of a song by Billy Squire called Love is the Hero. I don't know if I can play, but what I really want you to pay attention to when you listen to it is how beautiful the tone is and how insane the vibrato is. Now, what could we have on spot number one? Well, it's the entirety of the show must go on. Recorded when Freddie Mercury was already ill, it's somehow his most powerful vocal performance ever. It also contains the hardest vocal line of all time, some say, and that vocal line, as told by Brian May, was sung by Freddie in one take after drinking one shot of vodka. I'm never giving in the before that, Brian May was worried Freddie wasn't going to be able to make it, and he was considering lowering the song, transposing it down, or maybe even singing it in falsetto. But Freddie Mercury is Freddie Mercury, and that's why he wins every single poll, right? Remember, if you want to sing this high, but you have no idea how to start, because you've hit a brick wall on your vocal range, and you're tired of pushing and straining and having voice cracks, 
I was stuck in that same position for three years. And it wasn't until I understood the science behind laryngeal mechanisms that I could overcome it. Once I got it, the barrier was no longer there and I started making progress every single day. And you can now achieve the same thing at crazysinging.com. And there you will see proof that mixed voice and belting can arise from falsetto. Just go to the bottom of the website. And if you get the course, I will coach you for free.